Hello and welcome to another tutorial working with ASP.NET and databases. In this tutorial I would like to explore a common error that is found when you are working with SQL Server in Visual Studio environment. This error is usually found when you are under Visual Studio environment and you click on view inside the Server Explorer when you try to connect to the database and after you are done connecting with the database whenever you try to create a table so whenever you try to create a table you run into this error message and this is basically what we will going to try to see how to fix this problem this is the error message that you generally see in this environment enable to open the database project this version of SQL Server data tool is not compatible with the database runtime components installed on this computer. Or sometimes you run into an error which is incompatible DACFX error. In that case, whenever you try to work with something related to or whenever you try to perform an action that requires DAC framework, SQL Server data tools verifies a version of DACFX on your computer if the uh, SQL Server data tool does not work with the install version of DACFX then this error will going to be displayed on your computer in order to fix this error you are probably going to first of all need to figure out which version of Visual Studio are you using and once you figure that out, then you will be able to do a quick fix. And here are a couple of websites that I would like to share with you that are um, extremely essential in order for you to install certain tools that will, re um, that will help you fix the problem. Have a look at this URL over here. This uh, comes from Microsoft website. It is an MSDN library, which gives you a link to download page this is for SQL Server data tools if you're using Visual Studio 2015. If you click on this link, it will going to take you to the SQL Server data tools in Visual Studio 2015. And since you have already installed Visual Studio, you're going to simply move on to the next set of steps. If you are using the earlier version of Visual Studio, let's say Visual Studio 2012 or 13, uh, I tried it on both of those and it works perfectly fine. And here is a step to download and install SQL Server data tools. Now for this step is different for earlier versions in 2015. For 2015, here you can read through the description. And in SQL Server 2012 and 13 is very straightforward. You click on this link it will going to bring forth an installation file and you will going to go through the installation of the document this is an executable file so you click the executable file it will run the install for you and during the installation process it will going to show you a screen like this so you're going to follow through a couple of wizards and then you will be able to install now once you are done installing this then back to the visual studio environment in this environment all you need to do is you uh, let me let me get rid of this data connection so that I can also introduce to you how you go about creating a data connection in this environment so you right click on data connection and you click on add connection and then you pick your SQL Server database so it's refreshing trying to look for the available set of SQL Server databases installed and then you can pick one from the list from the list from this list you can pick your database so I'm picking SQL Server 2012 by both of them installed on this machine then I can simply test the connection upon receiving a success notification I can simply click OK and here is my connection now I can expand this connection I can go to my tables I can right click and I can either add a new table or add a new query. In the absence of the right DACFX, whenever you try to create add new table, it will going to give you an error message. This is a quick way to test to see that your installation is success. 
Well, hope you would have enjoyed this tutorial. Hopefully, this would help you fix this error. I'll catch you in the next tutorial. Take care.